Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video is going to be uh, making a quiz project. <clears throat> so, today's video is going to be more focused on JavaScript than anything else, so it's going to be kind of long. So, let's get started uh, directly. So, we are going to make ourselves a container, and then we're going to go ahead and start making the headers. So, the header for this is going to be quiz. game and then what we can do is we make another header and division tag close this now inside this division we will have our source and ad which is going to be question this is going to be where we put our questions you can copy this line here paste it down below just change the id to choices and then we will need a button so we will go ahead and put the button and inside the button we will go ahead and write next question and yes we need an id for this too so this is gonna be our next btn btn basically just show for button and then we make another div which you can just paste again and this will be a score we we'll need the score and then there now the initial score is going to be zero so we'll go ahead and write that there and down outside of this we will go ahead and go script and just link this with the javascript file so script.js okay now let's get started with the long part so first off we make a constant variable which is going to be our quiz data and it's going to be long so let's hit these brackets and then we open up another brackets and now question and then we make the question so to make this question wait yeah, put that there question is going to be what is the capital of France That's one question done. Now we go down choices. Choices is gonna be a question bracket again. Paris or Paris. Outside of the brackets, a comma, and then make new brackets. London, same thing. Berlin, Rome. Now we have our choices there. Now we'll add the correct answer, and that will be Paris. Make sure to not have spelling mistakes, or it won't work. Now we make another part of here. We only make three questions because this also already takes enough time. Copy this because copy this because we can and it just makes everything easier replace this with a question of your choice i'm gonna go with uh, which planet is closest to the sun forgot to add the question marks and okay now mars there we are jupiter Mercury, Venus, and the correct answer, of course, is Mercury. And now we can go ahead and make the next one. So then, next question or last question, actually, uh, what is the chemical symbol for? Water. Oh no no no. Change this. 
this to O oh, O2. Okay. From H2O. We have CO2. And then we have C6H12O6. Keep on zero. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. Correct answer of this. H2. Oh. And there we have it. Now, also, I forgot to open and close brackets. So. Uh, there, copy this, paste here, so close this, and we can kind of close this on this, and then we add the semicolon. Okay, now what we can do is we can let current question, wait, current question, equals to zero i think you guys will see a little bandy cam thing uh just because uh, i need to cut it since it's it was six minutes and there's still a long part to go so that's why i decided to stop the video and then start recording again and i'm just gonna join them the two clips together to make a longer clip it's kind of cheap cheap which you can get past the 10 minute limit of recording <laughs> but yeah so now what we're doing is we're getting the dom elements so to get that we of course get, get elements by id and the id for this is going to be question so now we're grabbing the elements from <coughs> the <coughs> uh, html file so now we can go choices element <coughs> document get element by id the question for this is going to be choices constant next button document dot get element by id next btn and last constant score element is equals to document document dot element by id score now we have those now let here uh, would it basically means that we're setting this variable to this what we have given let will basically have current question is equal to zero so if we take away this let will help us you know really make sure that it gets that value okay next one we're making the function so function load question this is going to be a function for how to load up the questions and put them inside the variable so current There, so current was data and then is equals to quiz data and then because that is going to be current question and well, if we jump down the line question element and then dot text content so the text text content this is capital in after text uh, is equals to current was data dot question what traces element dot inner html that is equals to just 
seal quotes with nothing inside of them. <clears throat> now we go down. Uh, not outside the function, still inside the function. And now what we do is we go ahead and the current quiz data dot traces for each. And then we add it, please. Choice is equals to minus L. And then we go ahead and open the brackets. Constant choice element. Then it goes to a document. Dot create. Now creating an element. Element. Now the element that we create is a button, and now we go down here, choice element dot text content that will be is equal to choice. So the choice. Now we go down here, choice. Oops. Choice element dot class list. Add, and then we add the choice. Now we jump down, still inside these uh, round brackets and the curly brackets. Still inside the same function on the same line. Choices element. And now we add the event listeners. So this will. This will basically trigger when the uh, it's when it's triggered so this is gonna be for click and oops there is it close to, wait there is it close to check answer no, the choice Now we append this and we got an add this there, semicolon, semicolon there. And there we have it. That's the first function. Now the next function is for checking the answer. So function check answer user choice constant. Current quiz data is equal to quiz data current question. Oops. If user with user user choice is equal to that is not how you spell choice. Uh, is equal to is equal to is equal to current quiz data dot correct answer now we're checking if the user choice is uh, basically if the user choice is uh, the same as the quiz the correct answer in the quiz data and then we just increment the score so score plus plus this will add one to our score Okay, now outside of the func if but inside the function, we will go ahead and uh, go ahead and go current question, and then increment that also. Now if the current question is less than quiz data. Dot length. We go ahead and play this now. Load question. So if the current question is less than the data or length, we will go ahead and load the question up, which will 
like uh, basically load up a person from here and now we're gonna go ahead and specify what it is supposed to do when it's not so else question element dot text content is equal to quiz completed your score and now the score is going to be a bit tricky but the score is going to be dollar sign wait let me find it there uh, there score wait no these are the wrong ones we need the curly ones or slash go uh kind of did a bit too long there it's uh, gave me 10 minutes so give me a long video uh yes so we have this here oh wait okay so actually not the double quotes ah uh, see now it did that i was wondering why was it there so wait let me copy this copy this oh see right there now you need to use these special uh, symbols which I don't really know how to come across uh wait I think this is opposite to how it's supposed to be this one goes here and this one goes here okay no it doesn't okay good Ooh. okay now this is done you can go ahead and go traces wait the traces element Of inner HTML <coughs> that is equal to nothing. Next, why is it next? BTN dot style dot display is equals to none. Score. And then we make it for the square element score element dot style dot display is equal to none. Now come up to finish this btn uh, add event listener click. equals to this arrow and then we load the question so when the button is clicked <coughs> it will load question and then down here we just run this function one last time and done okay so it's not really loading up the buttons <coughs> Because after some debugging and stuff, I have come to the conclusion that there were some typos. So I hope you guys have catched up on those. Um, there was many. Uh, there were many uh, typos. Like I think three of them, uh, all around here uh, in check answer and stuff like that. So please, I can go ahead and show this. Check this code.
you can pause the video and now go down wait now check this code now the HTML will look like this the HTML didn't have any problems but the JavaScript did but now as you guys can see we have what is the capital of France and then we have the question okay which planet is the closest to the Sun uh, it's Mercury and H2O so 3 out of 3 score now if we skip this the button oh wait yes okay yes so that's supposed to work like that okay okay so as you guys can see the score isn't increasing but like you can remove that also but as you guys can see it says here score 3 out of 3 if I wanted the next uh, button and the <laughs> score to work kind of would have been a bit longer uh, I'm not gonna lie would have been a bit too extra but yeah also the CSS wasn't made because it's this it's just, just insanely long anyways so why make it longer so <laughs> yeah uh, see you guys in the next video